Hi and welcome to today's live meditation session. Today we learn how to use meditation during stressful times. And let's also talk about why meditation is so useful. So no matter where you are, you're probably at home right now. We are in uh, week three of our lockdown. And of course, there is uncertainty about how long this will continue. And I know that a lot of people are facing stress because I do get a lot of calls. I've been speaking with uh, people from all over the country, all over the world, suffering from stress and anxiety and uh, struggling to deal with these issues, uh, primarily because we are facing an unprecedented time. Um, nothing like this has ever happened before. Anyone living today has never seen anything like this, a widespread pandemic that is causing changes in people's lives across the world from all walks of life. And that is something that has never, ever happened before. Now, you know, when we face unprecedented times, when we're going through an unknown situation, our brain starts going into the future and starts thinking about all kinds of possibilities and outcomes. Your brain, our brain is a fortune telling, future predicting machine. And it hates, the brain absolutely hates uncertainty. If the brain can look out into the future, but cannot predict what is happening, then you know what happens. You probably are experiencing this at some level, where the brain starts thinking of worst case scenarios, what we call catastrophic thinking. And this increases your stress. This makes you uh, more confused, uh, it reduces clarity and of course causes stress in both mind, brain and body as well. People are suffering other things. Some people are, are living alone, locked down alone, and you might be suffering from loneliness. Other people ha are living with family, but are finding that, you know, relationships are much harder at close quarters. And so, uh, of course, there's economic uncertainty and there's all kinds of uncertainty. And in all of this, you might find that you can't come here to this present moment and you can't find peace and relaxation. The issue is that most of us have been living a life where we wait for the environment, our life to be just so before we allow ourselves to be relaxed. Isn't that the way we, many of us live? I mean, think about how you've lived your life until now, where, you know, you uh, went to college, you did exams, you got a job and, you know, you kept doing one thing after the other and waiting for the day when everything would be just right, when the environment would be perfect. And then we say to ourselves, when life is exactly the way I want it to be, then and only then will I feel relaxed. But what's happening today, what's happening now with the pandemic is asking us to do something radically different. It is asking us to claim our peace of mind within us because outside us in life there's uncertainty. If we wait for certainty in life, that's going to be difficult. And let me tell you, you know this, that life has always been uncertain. It was never certain to begin with. But we, you know, we manage that uncertainty because we're used to that life. When there's a new threat and it wakes up a new fear and there's a new uncertainty now, that makes it very, very difficult for us. So when the world is uncertain, when there is chaos outside us, then we must find peace, stillness, and calm within us. I know that if you haven't been practicing meditation, this might seem like some kind of spiritual, you know, <laughs> philosophy that has no relevance. But let me tell you this, as a psychiatrist, if there's one thing I have learned is that difficulties are inevitable. And while this situation is unprecedented in our line of work, we see people all the time who go through difficult times in their life. And those difficult times in their life often are not because of their own doing. It's not their choice. It happens. Life sometimes is not easy. And that's when we come within and we find peace within and that is huge because if we change our relationship with the world can you imagine if during this time 
you learn how to find peace and relaxation within you, no matter what is happening outside you, can you imagine how resilient you have become? No matter what life throws at you, you're saying, I am the guardian of my own inner space. And my inner space, what is happening in my brain, my mind, my body, I can actually keep it as peaceful as I like. Is it easy? No, it isn't. Anything worth getting is not easy. Is it, uh, is, are the results going to be immediate? No, they're not. You might feel relaxed after today's session, I hope you do, but you might not. And if you don't feel relaxed, please understand that it's a bit like expecting your body to develop the moment you hit the gym. If you want to uh, put on muscle or lose weight, you're going to spend months and months of practice in the gym working out because you know it's taking you somewhere. What are we doing about our minds? What are we doing? What effort are we putting in? So that's what meditation is. It's a, it's a practice that has thousands of years of history and, and observation and writings about it. It's been validated by science now. And it's a skill that we can all learn and we must learn because of the unique structure of our brain, which is designed to take us away from this moment. You see, our brain, unlike your pet's brain or any other animal's brain, is designed, created, to take us away from this moment and to assess all kinds of stuff in the future and past and think about risk and all of that. And that's fantastic, by the way. That's the reason we have dominated this planet like no other species has, but it's also the reason why we suffer like no other species suffers. It's tragic. I feel that it's so sad that as human beings, we are not allowed or we don't allow ourselves rather, or put another way, our brain doesn't allow us that's the most precise way of putting it. It's tragic that our brain does not allow us to be happy like everything else, like every other animal species. If they are not being threatened in the moment, if they have food to eat, if they have, a shel if they have shelter, they are happy. We, because of our unique ability of pulling out problems from the future, even when they may never happen, as Mark Twain said, I've gone through many difficult times, most of which never happened, right? And that's a unique ability and that's why we suffer and that's why we need to learn meditation okay so we're going to do that right now uh welcome to all of you by the way uh early morning how are your days how's your day going it's about 11 38 uh housework is probably done and uh, i hope you're ready now for the meditation so we're going to begin by turning your attention inwards. And I'm going to do that too, even though I'm speaking, I'm going to turn my attention inwards. And there's a distinction now. Uh, let me just say what is inwards, what's outwards. Anything that you're sensing, even if it's from the outside, that's your world, right? Your world is all the perceptions. Your world is not the universe in the sense of what you're experiencing. It. What you're experiencing is a small fragment of reality and whatever you're experiencing, your mind is labeling stuff. It's saying this is good, this is bad, this is boring. Hopefully you're saying this is interesting right now, but you know, your mind is labeling your experience all the time. In other words, you are not present to what is happening. Rather, you're experiencing what your mind is creating. So now in meditation, we are actually going to come to reality. We are going to experience what is happening right here, right now. We're not going to judge if the mind judges, that's fine. We're going to observe the judgment. We're going to let go of everything that is not happening in this moment, right? So it's that simple. If something is not happening right now, don't pay attention to it. Bring your mind back. Now you'll notice something quite magical. It's astounding. You'll notice that as you bring your mind to what is happening in this moment, in the, in the present moment, Everything starts easing. The body starts relaxing. The breath starts relaxing because it stops fighting an invisible battle in the future. Your entire nervous system will relax. Your blood pressure will go down. Your heart rate will slow down. Your immune system, this is true, your immune system will start becoming more healthy as your body and brain relaxes. And you don't have to try to relax. You shouldn't try to relax. You don't have to try to do anything. That's a very important principle. 
you are just surrendering to this practice. You're not asking for anything out of this practice. You're not trying for relaxation. You are just here. You're just present. Okay, so let's begin. Settle down comfortably on your chair. And close your eyes. And bring your attention to your breath for a moment. And then take a few deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Let go of everything else. Don't worry about anything else. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill your lungs completely with air. And let go of all the air. Breathing out through your mouth. Feel that air enter you, your body reaching your navel, your belly button. And then feel the breath leaving your body out from your belly button, to your chest, to your throat, to your mouth. Now don't worry about the inhalation so much. Really pay attention to the exhalation. So you want to let go of all the air. That's what we are holding on to. When we hold on to our breath, we are actually creating tension. And when we are tense, we hold on to our breath. Now try this. Let go of the breath with a sigh. So go, I know it might sound awkward, but go ahead and do it. You're all alone. Ah. Go ahead and make that sound. Make it so loud that somebody next to you can hear you. <sighs> and the energy I want you to connect with is the idea of letting go of a load, of a, like a heavy suitcase you've been carrying. Just putting it down. Deep breath in. Feel the weight coming off your shoulders, off your chest. Take a few more breaths like that. Deep breath in. Now let your breathing return to its natural rhythms. And notice all the sounds around you. Experience all the sounds. Now I want you to let the sounds come to you. You're almost like a radio receiving the waves, not trying too hard. And you're experiencing the sounds without trying to analyze them, without trying to describe them. There's no need also to label the sound. Experience it, hear it fully completely.
Now notice your mind. If your mind is going away into past or future, into things you have to do, into things that you're worried about, just notice when it moves away and bring it back to the sun. I want you to hear the sounds as if you are a newborn baby who is listening to these sounds for the first time, as if you've never heard these sounds before. With a sort of accepting, gentle curiosity. Settle into this, accept, open your mind. And now move your attention to your breath. Just notice and experience your body moving with each breath. You'll experience as the body breathes in, your abdomen rises. And as your body breathes out, your abdomen falls. Just place your attention on this gentle rising and falling of the abdomen. Keep your mind on that movement, on the sensations, and notice what your mind is doing. If your mind goes elsewhere, just bring it back as many times as you need to. Allow your body to breathe and experience that gentle rising and falling of your abdomen. Take joy in not having to do anything but being fully alive. Be relaxed as you settle into this moment. Don't try to change anything. Don't try to fight anything. Just accept and witness and experience. Your breath. And notice each moment of your breath because the sensations are constantly changing. Experience that. Move your attention to the rest of your body and experience the sensations of your whole body from head to toe, from fingertip to fingertip, inside and out. 
feel any pulsations, any warmth in your body. Experience the weight of your body. If you notice any relaxation, allow that to fill your whole body and mind. Allow it to spread and deepen, relaxing your whole body. your attention now to the contact between the body and the chair. Notice the contact of air on your skin. Notice any light shining through your eyelids. And slowly and gently, open your eyes. Take a deep breath. You can stretch if you like. So how are you feeling? You can comment, let me know how this was for you. Are you feeling relaxed? Was it hard for you to do? And check for comments. I don't uh, see any comments yet. You may notice two ex one of two experiences. Many people initially also may experience some relaxation and a sense that their whole mind has eased, their body has relaxed. And if you feel that, that's fantastic. I want you to really remind yourself that this relaxation came from within you. Some of us might find it difficult. We might find ourselves getting irritated and frustrated. If you feel irritated or frustrated, in meditation, that's not a problem. You only have to watch the irritation and frustration. You see, the key thing we're learning through meditation is to change our relationship with our mind. The problem is not that we, that the mind feels frustrated, irritated, angry, fearful, and so on. The problem is that when the mind feels that way, you feel that way. And what we need is that space between what the mind is doing and what I'm feeling. My mind can feel stressed, but if I, my awareness, can watch that with complete acceptance, then you find that your mind relaxes. But most of us have learned, actually, we have a different relationship with our mind, where we are either unconscious of the fact that the mind is pulling us here and there, or if we do become conscious of that, we try to fight with the mind, which ends up in creating more tension, more stress, more anxiety. So meditation is definitely a, the single, well, one of two or three things that you have to do, that we all have to do, in order to find peace of mind during this time. I know that sounds like an overstatement, but it isn't. There is no better technique to manage the movements of the mind, the tendency of the human brain to judge, to run away from things, to cling on to things, to think about past and future. We have that amazing brain that can do that and therefore we need to use this amazing technique of meditation. Stress is inevitable. We will feel it. We all feel it. But we don't need to hold on to it. We can let it go 
come back to our baseline, to our home, which is inner peace and security. Well, if there are no questions this uh, morning, I want to thank you for joining me and I uh, want to thank um, also all the viewers who will join in post live session. I would love to hear from you though. Uh, I would love to do more sessions, uh, basically meditation sessions, but also I think talking about some concepts that can help us manage our mind and answering any questions that you might have. So have a wonderful week and I will see you well probably in the next couple of days and you please let me know if there are any topics you'd like me to talk about. Take care and stay safe. Be healthy.